Okay, Mark Palmquist here. Somebody asked if I would do a video of uh, how I designed this uh, mi micro scow. Uh, here's the boat. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so uh, let me just go show you how I made it. I'm going to go back in time to the very beginning. Started out with the top view. like that. Then I did a side view. Looks like that. I brought in a, a, a drawing of a of a larger scow just to compare just to get the rocker line pretty accurate okay so that gives you two shapes and then you do an intersect and then you get this and then you then you cut out the cockpit and then you do some draft so that the water falls this way and then I add the chines on the bottom. Here you can see it better this way. And then I do a, a roof plane and then the house. First I just extrude it and then uh, I do the cut of the roof, which is basically a sketch on the front plane. Looks like that. This is straight and that's curved. And then I do the draft on the sides, three sides, the front and the two sides of the house. Now I add these two together to make it a solid. So that allows me to do the shell, but before that I have to make a door. So I make the door. And then I do the knee chamfer. The chamfer has to be done before the, the shelling. And then the, there's the butt chamfer, and I'm going to change that actually. Um, I'm going to change it right here. Um, I'm going to change it to uh, 2.5 and 45. Okay. So now that kind of matches the inside chamfer. Um, so if you want to take a nap on this bench, you can take a nap. Uh, then I do the shell. Makes the whole thing... Uh, empty and you can do a section Let's see what it looks like here um, and then I do the back rib the back rib goes all the way across and then I mirror it on the other side then I do a plane up here where the bow box is going to be whoops ah bow box All right, there's a bow box. Uh, the purpose of, of this is so that you can um, you can put some um, expanding foam in here, and then uh, if something if you hit something, it's not going to make a hole in the boat. And um, there's also this chamber right here is also going to be flotation right here, or actually probably under the two benches. And then I put a rib down the middle. So this rib, there's a full rib here. Then I, here's the center board and then the cut out inside the center board. And then the, there's a plane for the top hatch and then there's the mass hole. 
transom longitudinal rib bed rib all right so there's there's a rib there it is there's a longitudinal bed bed rib this rib is actually lined up with this panel so these can be the same part the the inside of the bench and that uh, that that took a lot of engineering to make that work and then I mirror it on the other side and then uh, this is for the mast to sit on there's a frame around the hatch and then I angle it so with a cut looks like this so it's just three degree cut Uh, that is the mast lead. So it's um, when you're putting the mast in the hole, you're going to be standing back here, and then you just stick the end of the mast in there, and it should go in. And um, this might, th the location of this hole might change. All right, there's the cockpit storage here. It's basically a cutout. Bedroom plan. Okay, here is now. There's a bunch of ribs in here. There's a rib here. There's a rib here. There's a rib there. There's the top of the bed. There's the front hatch. All right, what is this? Oh yeah, that's the uh, extrusion around the lip there. Um, fillet. There's a fillet on that. So it's nice and rounded. And that is the whole entire boat. And thank you for watching. It it, it took a couple weeks to figure all this stuff out and to um, get everything right and um, get the volume right. Um, what you have to do is you have to um, you have to split the boat in half and then figure out what that volume underwater volume is and then figure out how much that would weigh in water and then put it back together again. <laughs> so anyway that's how I determine how much uh, weight the boat could handle. Here's a centerboard slot here. And, um, all right, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.